Test 2. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a conversation between a representative of an insurance company and a customer. First, you have some time to look at questions one to three. you will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning, Total Insurance. Judy speaking. How may I help you? I recently shipped my belongings from overseas back here to Australia and I took out insurance with your company. Some items were damaged during the move, so I need to make a claim. What do I have to do? OK, well, first I need to get a few details about this. Can you give me your name, please? Yes, it's Michael Alexander. The man's name is Michael Alexander. So Michael Alexander has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to three. Good morning, Total Insurance. Judy speaking. How may I help you? I recently shipped my belongings from overseas back here to Australia and I took out insurance with your company. Some items were damaged during the move, so I need to make a claim. What do I have to do? OK, well, first I need to get a few details about this. Can you give me your name, please? Yes, it's Michael Alexander. OK. And your address, please? My old address or my current one? Your current one. It's 24 Manly Street, Milpera, near Sydney. What was the suburb, sorry? Milpera. M-I-L-P-E-R-R-A. Right. Now, who was the shipping agent, Mr Alexander? Mm, you mean the company we used? Yes, the company who packed everything up at the point of origin. Oh, it was, um, uh, first class movers. OK. Uh, where were the goods shipped from? China, but the ship came via Singapore and was there for about a week. Don't worry, all of that information will be in the documentation. Now, the dates. Do you know when the ship arrived? It left on the 11th of October and got to Sydney on the 28th of November. OK. I need one more thing. There's a reference number. It should be in the top right-hand corner of the pink form they gave you. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, I have so many papers. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. It's 601-A-C-K. Thanks. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 4 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 4 to 10. I need to take down a few details of the actual damage over the phone before you put in a full report. Can you tell me how many items were damaged and what the damage was? 
Yes, well, four things actually. I'll start with the big things. My TV, first of all, it's a large one, very expensive. Our insurance doesn't cover electrical problems. It isn't an electrical problem. The screen has a huge crack in it, so it's unusable. I see. Any idea of the price to repair it? No. Well, I don't think it can be repaired. It will need a new one. Okay. I'll make a note of that, and we'll see what we can do. Now, what was the second item? The cabinet from the bathroom was damaged as well. It's a lovely cabinet. We use it to keep our towels in. And what is the extent of the damage? Well, the back and the sides seem okay, but the door has a huge hole in it. It can't be repaired. I'm really not very happy about it. And how much do you think it will cost to replace it? Well, when I bought it last year, I paid $125 for it. But the one I've seen here in Sydney is a bit more expensive. It's $140. Right. And what was the third item? My dining room table. It's a lovely table from Indonesia. It must have been very hot inside the container because one leg has completely split down the middle. The top and the other three look okay, thank goodness. Any idea of the price to repair it? Well, I had an estimate done on this actually because it is a very special table to us. They quoted us two hundred dollars, which is really pricey. So I hope the insurance will cover the total cost. I'm sure that will be fine.、Uh, what was the last item, Mr. Alexander? Well, we have a lovely set of china plates and dishes, you know, with matching cups, saucers, the lot. They were all in the one box, which must have got dropped because some plates were broken. Six, actually. And can you tell me the replacement value of these? Well, it's hard to say because they were part of a set, but they can be up to ten dollars each, as it's such a good set. Okay, so that would be around sixty dollars altogether. Yes, that's right. And is that all of the items? Yes. So, what do I have to do now? That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two.